Good morning and happy Tuesday, second graders. We had our first Zoom meeting this morning. It was absolutely lovely seeing 10 of you on there. I would love to see even more than 10 uh, at our next Zoom meeting, which is going to be Friday at 11 o'clock. Um, I am still going to do a read aloud chapter today. We are on chapter six of Sideways Stories from Wayside School. So you may feel free to either pull it up on Get Epic. Uh, pull it out if you have a hard copy, or just sit back and keep on watching if you want to see me pull it up on my screen. I'm feeling very good about the fact that I learned how to do that now. So uh, I'll be switching over to that screen in just a second. So buckle up, here comes chapter six. All right, BB. <clears throat> Before we begin, everyone take a sip of water. Excellent. BB was a girl with short brown hair, a little BB nose, totally tiny toes, and big brown eyes. Her full name was BB Gun. She was the fastest draw in Mrs. Jules's class. She could draw a cat in less than 45 seconds a dog in less than 30, and a flower in less than eight seconds. Now, as I'm reading today, I want you to notice how I'm scooping, okay? So we're scooping when we read. So again, we're looking for that punctuation to see where exactly our scoops go. All right, but enough from me. But of course, BB never drew just one cat. Oops, where did it go? Um, oops, where am I? Never just drew one, one dog, one cat, or one flower. Art was from 12.30 to 1.30. Why, in that time, she could draw 50 cats, 100 flowers, 20 dogs, and several eggs or watermelons. It took her the same amount of time to draw a watermelon as an egg. Why do you think that is? Calvin sat next to BB. He didn't think he was, a very, he was very good at art. Why, it took him the whole period just to draw one airplane. So instead, he just helped BB. He was BB's assistant. As soon as BB would finish one masterpiece, Calvin would take it from her and set down a clean sheet of paper. Whenever her crayon ran low, Calvin was ready with a new crayon. That way, BB didn't have to waste any time. And in return, BB would draw five or six airplanes for Calvin. It was 12.30, time for art. BB was ready. On her desk was a sheet of yellow construction paper. In her hand, a green crayon. Calvin was ready. He held a stack of paper and a box of crayons. Ready, BB, said Calvin. Ready, Calvin, said BB. Okay, said Mrs. Jules, time for art. She had hardly finished her sentence when B.B. had already drawn a picture of a leaf. Calvin took it from her and put another piece of paper down. Red, called B.B. Calvin handed B.B. a red crayon. Blue, called B.B. He gave her a blue crayon. They were quite a pair. Their teamwork was remarkable. B.B. drew pictures as fast as Calvin could pick up the old paper and set down the new. A fish, an apple, three cherries, bing, bing, bing. At 1.30, Jules announced, okay, class, Art is over. BB dropped her crayon and fell over on her desk. <sighs> Calvin sighed and leaned back in his chair. He could hardly move. They had broken their old record. They lay in a pile on Calvin's desk. Mrs. Jules walked by. Calvin, did you draw all these pictures? Calvin laughed. <laughs> no, I can't draw. BB drew them all. Well, then what did you draw? Asked Mrs. Jules. I didn't draw anything, said Calvin. Why not? Don't you like art? Said Mrs. Jules. I love art, said Calvin. That's why I didn't draw anything. Mrs. Jules did not understand. It would have taken me the whole period just to draw one picture, said Calvin. And BB would, would only have been able to draw a hundred pictures. But with the two of us working together, she was able to draw 378 pictures. That's a lot more art. 
BB and Calvin shook hands. No, said Mrs. Jules. That isn't how you measure art. It isn't how many pictures you have, but how good the pictures are. Why, a person can spend his whole life just drawing one picture of a cat. In that time, I'm sure BB could draw a million cats. Two million, said BB. Mrs. Jules continued, but if that one picture is better than each of BB's two million, then that person has produced more art than BB. BB looked as if she was going to cry. She picked up all the pictures from Calvin's desk and threw them in the garbage. Then she ran from the room. I thought her pictures were good, said Calvin. He reached into the garbage pail and took out a crumpled up picture of an airplane. Bebe walked outside into the playground. Lewis, the yard teacher, spotted her. Where are you going, he asked. I'm going home to draw a picture of a cat, said BB. Will you bring it to school and show me tomorrow? Lewis asked. Tomorrow, <laughs> laughed BB. By tomorrow, I doubt if I'll even be finished with one whisker. Okay, that was chapter six. Uh, what do you think our message is here today? Feel free if you want to leave me a little video response or comment below. I'd love to hear from you. Again, great seeing everyone today. Hope to see more people on Friday. Have an amazing Tuesday and be well. Drink water. Bye, guys.